morning, everyone. This is IE 101, Introduction to Industrial Engineering, and I'm Dr. Ken Fung. And over the next few weeks, I'll learn more about who you are. But right now, I'd like to start by asking you, as people who have chosen industrial engineering as a major, when you talk to your family or friends, what do you tell them about this field you've chosen? I mean, what do they think about it? Do they think of smokestacks and big carbon footprints? Um, how do you explain? What do you tell them? How do you define industrial engineering to people who you know? Yeah? Uh, well, I tell them it's about making processes more efficient, helping companies make more money. Okay. Very good. You've read the first chapter of the text. He'll do well in here. Um, anybody else? Another definition. Yes. Now this is a story all about how industrial engineering for the world of the downtown. Like to take a minute. Just sit right there and say how I used them to run the world time square. In West Philadelphia, born and raised in the factory was where Fred Taylor spent most of his days watching workers waste time through inefficiencies. He developed principles to improve industries. In the world of Gilbert, they watched people feel more to death. Frank studied motion and time to help save every dime, then studied the brain to help workers maintain a healthy life without pain and production sustain. So as an IE, you're an engineer, you solve problems that are the big people fear using math, science, stats, and probabilities to improve system capabilities. Factories, hospitals, retail stores, this is where IEs open new doors, saving the world, time and money, who says IEs can't still be funny? Improving the economy with our philosophy, regardless of the service or commodity. Making things better drives our curiosity. We never set up for pot or mediocrity. Buy best is a tool of the game. Sort straight, sweep, standardize, and sustain. Variability is tamed, consistency is gained, knowledge obtained to help you be trained. We improve quality and production rates, so nothing is ever scrapped or late. We're never okay with the system's current state, our importance you can't debate. You know this guy named Tim Cook, I bet you know whose job he took. Yep, he's an IE like you and me, out there increasing Apple's equity. Disneyland is just another place where I eat at the pace to put a smile on your face from start to end. They're starting a the trend to get customers to spend from end to end. Not only is being an IE fun, but if you work hard, you can earn a ton. Oh, and job security is great with positive growth. Opportunities are endless, our impact's tremendous. So what's the bottom line? Become an IE, it's worth your time. Well, that sums it up pretty well, but that's uh, the first time I've ever heard it put quite that way. Let me conclude by giving my definition of industrial engineering. And while it won't agree completely with my colleagues, faculty, professional industrial engineers, everyone, I think that most of them would uh, agree pretty much with what I'm about to say. I would define industrial engineering as the integration and operation of complex systems. Now by complex systems, I mean systems that are composed of people, machines, and technical processes. Um, those systems are industrial systems, production systems that produce goods and services. And they include transportation systems, logistics systems, manufacturing systems, uh, healthcare systems, all kinds of service systems as well. Um, integration and operation uh, means that making people and machines and processes work well together, effectively, efficiently, safely, and now even more than ever, sustainably. Industrial engineers use the knowledge from the physical sciences, biological sciences, the psychological sciences, information sciences, from mathematics and engineering methods 
to accomplish those objectives. So that's all for today. See you Wednesday. Don't forget to read chapter two.